In physics, the term dielectric strength has the following meanings. Of an insulating material, the maximum electric field that a pure material can withstand under ideal conditions without breaking down i.e., without experiencing failure of its insulating properties. For a specific configuration of dielectric material and electrodes, the minimum applied electric field i.e., the applied voltage divided by electrode separation distance that results in breakdown. This is the concept of breakdown voltage. The theoretical dielectric strength of a material is an intrinsic property of the bulk material and is independent of the configuration of the material or the electrodes with which the field is applied. This intrinsic dielectric strength corresponds to what would be measured using pure materials under ideal laboratory conditions. At breakdown, the electric field frees bound electrons. If the applied electric field is sufficiently high, free electrons from background radiation may become accelerated to velocities that can liberate additional electrons during collisions with neutral atoms or molecules in a process called as avalanche breakdown. Breakdown occurs quite abruptly, typically in nanoseconds, resulting in the formation of an electrically conductive path and a disruptive discharge through the material. For solid materials, a breakdown event severely degrades or even destroys its insulating capability. Factors affecting apparent dielectric strength it decreases with increased sample thickness, c. defects, below. It decreases with increased operating temperature. It decreases with increased frequency. For gases e.g. nitrogen, sulfur hexafluoride it normally decreases with increased humidity. For air, dielectric strength increases slightly as the absolute humidity increases but decreases with an increase in relative humidity. <laughs> Breakdown field strength The field strength at which breakdown occurs depends on the respective geometries of the dielectric insulator and the electrodes with which the electric field is applied, as well as the rate of increase at which the electric field is applied. Because dielectric materials usually contain minute defects, the practical dielectric strength will be a fraction of the intrinsic dielectric strength of an ideal, defect-free, material. Dielectric films tend to exhibit greater dielectric strength than thicker samples of the same material. For instance, the dielectric strength of silicon dioxide films of a few hundred nm to a few μm thick is approximately 0.5 GV per meter. However very thin layers below, say, 100 nanometers become partially conductive because of electron tunneling. Multiple layers of thin dielectric films are used where maximum practical dielectric strength is required, such as high voltage capacitors and pulse transformers. Since the dielectric strength of gases varies depending on the shape and configuration of the electrodes, it is usually measured as a fraction of the dielectric strength of nitrogen gas. Dielectric strength in megavolt per meter or 106 volt per meter of various common materials. Topic units in SI. The unit of dielectric strength is volts per meter, V per meter. It is also common to see related units such as volts per centimeter, V per centimeter, megavolts per meter, megavolt per meter, and so on. In United States customary units, dielectric strength is often specified in volts per mil a mil is one one-thousandth inch. 
The conversion is 1 volt per meter equals 2.54 times 10 minus 5 volts mil 1 volt mil equals 3.94 times 104 volts per meter. Display style begin aligned 1 text v per meter and equals 2.54 times 10 caret minus 5 text v mil 1 text v mil and equals 3. 94 times 10 carat 4 text v per meter and aligned topic see also breakdown voltage relative permittivity rotational brownian motion Passion's law, variation of dielectric strength of gas related to pressure. Electrical treeing Lichtenberg figure <laughs>